watch it, you'll smear my makeup. Sorry. Didn't you wear those clothes yesterday? No. These are clean. Well, the jeans. The jeans I wore yesterday, but everything else is new. Why? I don't know. It just looks like you wore those clothes yesterday. Just the jeans. Yeah, I got it. So, uh, what's up? Well, can I get you anything? Raspberry iced tea. Anything else? Did I order anything else? Be right back. You know you didn't have to do that. She was just being nice. She was being incompetent. I ordered raspberry iced tea and that's all I wanted. Oh, yeah. Enough, but... okay. I don't have time for this. There's no sugar in this. On the table. I have to put my own sugar in this. Is that what these people are paid to do? Not everybody likes sugar in their iced tea. Well, I do. Enough about the iced tea. Like I said, I don't have time for this. You got somewhere to be, do you? I do, actually. Where are you headed? A date. <laughs> a date. <laughs> That's a good one. Dennis, I'm serious. I asked you to meet me here because I can't do this anymore. We need to break up. Let me guess. The old, it's not you, it's me routine, right? Oh no, it's definitely you. Yeah, that's a new one. We have absolutely nothing in common. I like fine art, you like football. I appreciate good dining and you like going to Hooters. I care about my appearance and you obviously don't. Can you do me a favor? What? Take off the sunglasses we're inside. Dennis, I can't, my eyes are all puffed. Please, just as a courtesy. Fine. Thank you. You're a loser, Dennis. A grade A loser. I can never be attached to someone like you, now or ever. So I figured even you deserve to be told in person. Have a nice life. Hold on a second. Dennis, don't do this. I know it's hard enough as it is, but don't embarrass yourself by groveling. Just sit down for a second, let me say a few things, and you're free to go on your date, or whatever. Fine. Nothing you say is going to change things. It's over. Yeah, yeah, fine. Just shut your trap now, would you? Excuse me? I said, shut your trap. You're done talking? It's my turn now. You know, I could have taken the high road and just let you walk right on out of here, but then I thought better of it. Despite the fact that the sooner you leave here, the sooner I never have to see your stupid face again. I just can't let you come in here and tell me that you've set up a date prior to you coming in here and breaking up with me and get away with it. Well, I did. Too bad. So sad. Sad? You're the one who's sad. You're a pathetic individual. Fallen victim to the latest fashion and pop culture trend. You're like a walking internet meme. Oh, well, Paris Hilton carries a little dog in her bag, but I will too. You know what else Paris Hilton does? She fucks her boyfriend on camera. Did you ever feel the urge to do that? No. On camera? Gross. And to top it off, your dog isn't even real. What is that about? Real dogs poop. Peanut doesn't. You think of that one all by yourself, genius? That's another thing. You're incredibly stupid. I'm even dumber than you are. What the hell was I thinking, staying with you all this time? You were exactly right on what you said earlier. We have nothing in common. You like fine art, and I like football. I think fine art is Disney on ice, and I don't. See? Nothing. Are you done? You're a horrible person, Chastity. You've done nothing but beat me down the entire time we've been together. You've done everything you can to make me feel like I didn't deserve you. And after a while, I started believing it. I honestly thought that I would never find anyone better. But no more, sister. It's all over and done with. And I can finally say what I've been wanting to say for the better part of our relationship. Chastity, go. We've been fucking. A lot. He really cleans out my pie case if you get what I'm saying. Whatever. You two losers have fun making unattractive and incompetent babies. Hi. Uh, hi. Oh, sorry about that, but I can see where you
knew you were going with it and something had to be done. What was wrong with where I was going with it? Not enough pizzazz. You tell her to go fuck herself and she gets mildly angry and leaves. But you tell her you've been sleeping with someone while you two were together. And that sits with her. What did seem fine when she walked out of here? That's the cool thing about it. She seems all calm and collected now, but later on, possibly when she's on a date with the newest poor bastard, it could click and she could justifiably break down right then and there. It's very ninja-like how it sneaks up. Yeah, that is better than what I had. Thank you, uh, waitress? Is that your real name? Weird, huh? My parents wanted something original. It's just funny that your name is also your profession. I'm just glad they didn't call me Mattress, otherwise I could have ended up a hooker. <laughs> Did you want anything else? No, that'll be all, thank you. Are you sure? Nothing else at all? No, can't think of anything else. been so much cooler if you'd wanted it. Uh, give me a break, I just got back into the game. 